Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome to another video. In today's video guys, I'm going to be showing you my loose skin. I'm going to be giving you the loose skin update that you've been asking for. So I hope you guys enjoy it. If you don't know who I am and this is the first video you're watching, hello, my name is Louise. I used to be obese, I weighed £269 and in January 2020, I went on a weight loss journey and I lost 120 pounds and then I filmed my first ever loose skin video which I have on my channel, basically what my loose skin looked like as soon as I lost all the weight. So I lost 120 pounds in about 14 months. So that video is basically showing what the loop my skin looked like and how loose it was. And then I went on a year of maintaining and building muscle and then last year I filmed an update for you guys it was like a one year update showing you what, how my loose skin has changed over the course of a year how it's changed has it improved with building muscle and I personally think it did improve a bit so if you haven't seen them two videos I would highly recommend going to watch them first and then maybe come into this video to see whether you can see a difference whether you can see improvement I have not had any surgery and I haven't done anything to my loose skin or for my loose skin to kind of improve it Apart from lifting weights and just giving it time and changing my body composition. So yeah, I will be removing my clothing and showing you guys my loose skin and pulling it about for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, yeah, I would highly appreciate that like. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing and join the family here on YouTube. I figure there's like three types of people, or maybe four types. Four types of people that are watching this video. The first person, maybe contemplating losing weight like they want to lose weight but they're scared about having loose skin second person is already on their journey losing weight and they're experiencing loose skin and the third person has lost the weight already and they've got loose skin and then the fourth person just wants to watch to see some loose skin getting pulled about by <laughs> so four people so i just want to give you guys who are losing weight or thinking of losing weight uh, that are worried about loose skin or could have concerns about loose skin i just want to give you guys some reassurance that losing weight and having a bit of loose skin is so much better than having the weight on that is impacting your health and even your confidence and stuff. So I I just don't, it doesn't compare. Having loose skin doesn't compare to the feeling of being morbidly obese or extremely overweight, however you want to put it. So I just want to put that out there now. Don't let loose skin hold you back from losing weight. And if you do have loose skin and you've lost the weight, firstly, well done for losing weight. That's amazing. Just know it's normal, it's completely normal. Most people have loose skin that have lost a significant amount of weight and it's just skin at the end of the day, all right? But I wanted to show you guys what I look like, basically, wearing normal clothes, right? So this is me in a normal, a normal day, yeah? <laughs> As you can tell, I, you can't tell I have loose skin. I don't think if anyone would look at me, they'd be able to tell that I have loose skin. And I've also been told that I look like I've never been overweight, if that makes sense. And I show you what I look like in normal clothes to basically show that when I was bigger, I couldn't hide the fact that I was bigger. I couldn't hide the fact that I was overweight. You could see it. It doesn't really matter what I'd wear. I could wear clothes that made me feel a bit more confident, a bit better about myself, but I couldn't hide the fact that I was obese, yeah? You could just see it, no matter what I did, right? Even if I breathed in, you could still tell. But I'm gonna take these off. <laughs> And I'll show you my skin now, okay? So I'll be back in a couple of seconds. Bam! We're undressed. I told you it would only take a few seconds. <laughs> so this is what I look like now that I've lost weight and in shorts and a sports bra, I guess. What? <laughs> so. Ooh, do some poses. Stand back a bit. Oh, do them bikini poses. Ah, so yeah, this is what like my body looks like just standing here. Most people probably won't be able to tell that I have loose skin just by wearing this, right? Yeah, so you can't really tell, come a bit closer. So when I even wear shorts and a sports bra, you can't really see that I've got loose skin. And I think that's why a lot of people will say to me, oh, how did you avoid the loose skin when you lost weight? And I'll tell you guys, I haven't avoided the loose skin. I've still got loose skin, even after a couple of years of maintaining and building muscle. I still have loose skin, so I will show you that. 
but we will go with uh, the upper part first and I'll just come down because I feel like I did that in my last video. So I don't know, I pulled my face last time. I don't know if this is normal. Um, it's a bit stretchy on my skin and now I don't have EDS guys. I don't think so. I remember my first video I had so many people saying I had like EDS just because I have stretchy skin. I think it's just where my skin was filled up with fat and now it's, it's not. So it's just extra stretchy. <laughs> But I did have a lot more chest skin and I don't now. I did fill up my chest with some muscles, some pecs. So I don't have much skin. I did lose my boobs, so there's that. But I spoke about it in my other videos. It's just, you know, I had big boobs for a very, very long time. And there is perks to having small boobs. Like when I go to the gym, it's nice not to have them bouncing on my face. So there's that. The only times I wish I had like, you know, big boobs is when I'm getting dressed up or I'm wearing a certain top, like there's some, some tops that you can't wear without having boobs and like, especially as like, there's literally nothing there, like it is just basically like skin. So I do have like, more loose skin like there. And I have, I have pecs instead. So I've traded boobs for pecs, which should we do like popper? Yeah, I traded boobs for flep for pecs. So, you know, if you can't have boobs, and you don't want to get a boob job, then just build some pecs. Why not? No, nothing special there. If we put my arms up, should we do a little flex for you guys? Ooh, there you go. So, with my arms, I have some loose skin here still, so there's that bit, but you can't really tell. If I pull it, you can see the skin. Maybe if I do that. There you go, you can see the skin more there. See? Some loose skin. I had really, really big arms. So like my arms were like really, like I was so self-conscious of my arms because they were so big. So of course I'm gonna have like loose skin like around. If I turn here, you can see I have some loose skin here. And I had like a big roll under my armpit, like a really big one. So I do have like some loose skin around there if I pull it. But like like you, you can't really tell. Like if I just to do that, you can't tell I have loose skin. So it's only really when I pull it about you can actually really tell. But I do have like armpit my armpits are stretchy basically. And then the bit where I had the roll there I have some loose skin. But like you can't tell. If I pull it, you can tell. You know what I mean? So yeah. <laughs> Okay, and then I will show you, should we do my legs first? We'll do my legs first, we'll do my legs. Okay, so let me show you my leg skin, which is not even that bad anymore either. Uh, but since I've built muscle on my legs, it's not like, you can't really tell. So yeah, so here's my legs like just normally. Like, I don't really know. The back of my legs. Uh, cellulite is actually completely normal. Most girls have cellulite, so don't worry about having cellulite. It was something I was pretty self-conscious of before. Even when I did my bikini competition, I still had cellulite, so that's just made me learn to accept it. It's just normal. We have dimples in our legs. It did improve, obviously, with fat loss, and it does get a little bit better, but sometimes you just have cellulite. It's just, it's just life, in it? It's just little, cute little dimples. But yeah, so back of my legs. But yeah, there's nothing I can like really, I mean, if I lift it up, yeah, there you go. Uh, it's not that bad, to be fair. Like, it's not bad at all. You probably can't even tell I've got any loose skin there. But it is like looser than like someone who hasn't lost any weight. But it's just, yeah. Ooh. So that's my legs. I have a little bit of a jiggle. On oh, my days, I see her, uh, Ashley sent me a video. And Instagram is like a reel. And it was like showing how to do the fire jiggle. And obviously I could do it. Yay! So, loose skin fires, you could do fire jiggle, so yeah, there's that. <laughs> Stomach skin, I will show you. So obviously, I like to wear nice high-waisted because with my loose skin, I don't really have, I mean, it is kind of loose there. If I show you, kinda, a little bit, I could pull it, but you can't really see. Can I show you my back? Huh? There you go. There's that as well. I mean, I could pull skin on my back. I had a really big roll here as well, actually. So I'm gonna have loose skin everywhere, I was big everywhere. But with this skin here, it's kind of loose, but you can't really tell unless I pull it. So my biggest giveaway that I have loose skin is my belly button. So I will show you. When people say to me, I don't have loose skin, 
and they see my pictures and stuff, I'm like, how can you not tell with this loose skin belly button? So this is my little cute loose skin belly button. Obviously, if I didn't have loose skin, I would have probably just like a normal looking belly button. <laughs> so yeah, without me pulling my belly about, that's what my belly looks like. So, and I don't know, the back bit. Ooh, do we look? So yeah, that's what my belly looks like without pulling it about. My loose skin kind of falls down, so I can kind of hide it. I don't want to pull it down too far. I can kind of like hide it, if that makes sense, because where the skin falls down is like right there. It's quite fun to actually pull about. It doesn't really bother me on a day-to-day -day basis. Obviously, sometimes... I like can f it can make me feel bigger than what I actually am if that makes sense like it can make me feel like I've got more fat to lose when in reality it's just skin I'm gonna lean over but yeah of course I would like to have nice tight skin of course I would like that I would like to have like the perfect kind of body I would also like to be a millionaire yeah I would love to be a millionaire and I'm not but that doesn't mean that I'm not going to be happy with my life. I'm not going to love, love my life and try and enjoy it the best I can just because I'm not a millionaire because I would like to be a millionaire. Same with my body. I would like it to have nice tight skin and no stretch marks and looking perfect. But just because it's not that way doesn't mean I don't love my body. I don't accept it and I'm not going to just do what I want to do. I'm going to wear the shorts. I'm going to wear the crop top. And I'm not going to let, like, my loose skin bother me too much. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, I appreciate my body, like, how far it's come and, like, what I've been able to achieve and how much I've been able to change my body. It's just amazing to me that your body can actually change so much just through you changing your habits and your lifestyle. Your body will eventually follow. So I think it's just amazing. I've been able to undo a lot of health complications that I kind of had. Like, I'm pretty sure I had high blood pressure. I was having, like, high blood pressure symptoms, like the dizziness and migraines and all that kind of stuff. And obviously I'm a lot fitter and healthier and a lot more active I'm able to do things that I wasn't able to do before so if it comes with a little bit of loose skin it comes with a little bit of loose skin it's not that much of a big deal I don't know whether I would ever get surgery at the minute I don't have any like actual plans to have surgery sometimes like I wish I, I could just have a little tummy tuck so it would just look better but it would be purely aesthetic so it's one of them ones where it's where, until it bothers me so much it's not something I would go through what have I done to minimise my new skin? Nothing apart from I suffer with eczema and dry skin. So I always have to moisturise and I love the moisturiser that I use. So I thought I'd show you because I had to moisturise before I got my legs out. Yeah, I don't want to show you guys actually legs. So this is the moisturiser I use. It's a Nivea one. I really like this one. It's really good for my skin personally. I just like to you put it on in the morning, maybe sometimes in the middle of the day and then at night time before I go to bed. I just find it helps keep my skin hydrated. I don't know whether that will help. I only lotion for obviously to keep my skin hydrated, but I feel like if your skin is hydrated from the inside and out, so making sure I drink enough water all the time and lotioning it, that gives it the best chances to like keep the elasticity, if that makes sense. If it's all dry and crusty, it probably ain't gonna look the healthiest. I don't know. I eat loads of fruits and vegetables, so I'm getting my nutrients. That might help. My antioxidants I have loads of berries. That's good for your skin, like the antioxidants in there. Not saying that that will reduce your loose skin, but I'm just saying that that's the only kind of things I do. And I lift weights and I build muscle. So that's filled out a lot of the loose skin on my arms and my legs and even my chest um, and my glutes. Uh, obviously with the stomach, there's not really much you could do. So I feel like that's the skin that's not changed much really. Over time, it might have shrunk a little bit. I am a little bit higher on body fat than I was in my last video, so maybe that will look a bit different as well because there's probably a bit more fat in, in the skin. So I've not done like microneedling or anything like that or intermittent fasting or I get recommended so many different things for my loose skin and to be honest, it doesn't bother me that much to even bother trying and I do think even if I tried those methods, they're not going to make much if any difference, so it's kind of pointless to me. That's just my skin, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you enjoy the free gun show. <laughs> Am I getting abs yet? <laughs> Do you see the abs? <laughs> I'm such a weirdo. It doesn't affect me intimately as well. I know I get asked that a lot, like, do I feel self-conscious or whatever about it? No, not really. I'm I'm not bothered by it. So, yeah, I just feel like I've embraced my skin and everything. So, 
I embrace the skin I'm in. So tips for loose skin, high waisted and embrace it and be confident, right? In the skin you're in. So yeah guys, this is what my body looks like and my skin looks like after losing over a hundred pounds and maintaining it. This is how it's kind of changed. I'm not 100% sure if it's made much difference. Definitely on my arms probably. My stomach I feel like is basically stayed the same but I can't really build that much muscle in my stomach unless I want to get a thick waist with just overtraining abs. But yeah, there's not anything you can do as well guys to spot reduce fat or anything. I get asked that a lot like how do I tone up and lose my, the fat around my arms, around my stomach, or legs, or wherever it is. You can't spot reduce fat. You can build up muscle to tone up, to build up muscle to fill out the loose skin, and eat in a calorie deficit to lose the body fat, but it will come off where it wants to come off, it chooses to come off. It, there is an awkward stage in weight loss as well, where the skin starts to get looser, but you've still got quite a bit of fat in there, and that can make you feel like a lot more saggy and a lot more like <clears throat> not not great, if that makes sense. I do remember that stage, but just persevere with the calorie deficit. As the fat goes, the skin will will get thinner, like the, the fat between the skin will get thinner and then it goes closer to your body because it's not wet, got anything in it to weigh it down or much to weigh it down. Whereas like, I notice if I gain weight, my belly will look like a lot more thicker and flabbier, if that makes sense, because I'm gaining body fat there. Whereas if I had tight skin, you probably wouldn't see it as much. So yeah, that's my loose skin video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. E and I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to lift weights because, yeah, you want to get strong and muscular, yeah? We all want to look like Hulk. She-Hulk, anyway. <laughs> all right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.